Good morning. Sunday, 7th of May, 2017. I must go, ride this brief and meeting. This is round two of GH Motorcycles Husqvarna ACU Eastern Solo Enduro Championship. It is at Hawkerton, Windrops Farm, Hawkerton. On a completely new format today. It's going to be good and interesting. <laughs> Morning, Nick. I'm looking at 120 yeah. people here. Yeah. Everybody. <laughs> come, come around the front here. Oh. I like people behind me. Come on, George. <laughs> I know what you'll hear if you stand there. Right. Is everybody here? If you're not here, put your hand up. Say no if you're not. Hey? Say no if you're not. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, let's get started then. So first of all, thanks everybody for supporting this event. It is something a bit new. I will explain anything you've heard up to now. You can probably disregard most of it. Listen to what I say and then you'll be right for the rest of the day. Um, just a few thanks first of all. Gavin at GH for supporting the series. Uh, the Slater family for the land and all the help we've had setting up. Had loads of help, particularly from Stone Market, Dis, Woodbridge been a good team effort and uh, we had about 18 people out here the other week setting the course up so uh, it's been a good effort and I hope you'll enjoy it. We've got about a 10 minute lap out there and it's uh, so pretty much the same as before but some extra bits added on. Um, right, what do I need to tell you? Just follow the course, the markings ever so clear. If there's gates with two arrows, go between them, not round them. You've got to stick on the course, keep off the props, except where the course is specifically marked through them. But you'll, again, you'll see that, it's fine. Take a good look at the start and finish area. Lap scoring is over here. There is deliberately a tight chicane as you come through lap scoring for obvious reasons. Please just go steady, don't knock it down. If anybody comes through there too quick and demolishes it, I will impose penalties. There's no need, just come through there steady so they can get your number. Um, and then same thing here, as you go through, um, you'll see a, a, a lane where you peel off to the left if you're coming in to the right if you're carrying on. It goes round some barriers, it's deliberately tight to keep it slow where the starters are going to be coming out and joining the track. So again, it'll all make sense when you see it, but just go steady through those areas. We don't want it all demolishing. Um, there is a tyre chicane at the top there. Some of you will be familiar with that. Again, it's to take the speed out before the corner so we don't get all the course marking demolished. It is marked. It's got crossed arrows on it. They're made up of big tractor tyres. All I'll say is don't hit them. Right, they will not move much. <laughs> um, right. I've got a couple of concerns today. One is traffic. There'll be, at times, a lot of riders out there. So just take care. Quicker riders. Be patient in some of the slower bits. They're all quite short if it's narrow. There's plenty of overtaking places, but I don't want anybody nerfing into the trees. So just take care. Um, it will be dusty, hopefully the breeze will clear it, we'll just have to keep an eye on that one as the day goes on. Uh, but it is very dry and, and very hard out there. You've all got time cards, they've all been filled in, all the times have been added. Do check them though, I did them last night, um, by the time I got to like 97 I was sort of front, you know. So just check I've got them right, they should be okay. Right, now then, the rules. So what you've got is a time check. At the start time, so say your start time is 5 past 10, you'll then have a time check and it might be 30 minutes. So your finish time will be 10.35. You do as many laps as you can in that half an hour. If you go late, you will lose one sixth of a lap for every minute that you are over your time. So you might do three laps, you might go one minute late, so you've got two and five sixths to count. Yeah? So if you come in late, that's fine, you just come straight in, 
got a one sixth of a lap penalty. If you arrive at the finish a minute early or two minutes early, you can come into Park Ferme without penalty. Don't sit and wait for the clock, just come in. There's no point in sitting there, you're not, you're not achieving anything, you're just blocking the track up. Right? So if you're early, just come straight in. Yeah? Oh yeah, yeah, you, you got, your time cards will be marked as normal, but what I mean is come straight in, don't just sit Your there. card will be marked at your early time, but they won't penalise it. Yeah. They're right, yes, that's right. Um, so you've got a start control, so we'll have a normal start this morning. You can warm your engines, or it'll be a, a dead engine start, and, and it'll be a normal start. And then after that, you always start at your, your designated time. So if your time is 10.05, you go 10.05, 11.05, 12.05, 1.05. If you're late at the finish check, do not carry that minute forward. Right? You always start at your designated time. Where it says ST on your time card, that's not a special test. Drop clanger there. That's start, <laughs> right? ST is start. Right, so you always start at that time. And then you signed on your start time when you go out, or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah your yeah. card will be marked when you go out yeah. and when so you, you come can't in. Go out early and get <laughs> no, no, no. If you go out early, well, they'll let you, yeah, but it's a six of a lap, yeah. yeah? <laughs> uh, and, and likewise, if you start late, that's a six as well, yeah. yeah? Um, well, I lost the thread now. <laughs> All these questions, isn't it? <laughs> So yeah, so, so you'll find then as you, you do your time check, and they all vary in length, so you do your time check, you come in at 10.35, 10.38, whatever it is, and you'll then have about 20 minutes to have a drink, refuel, before you start again at 11.05. Yeah? And during the course of the day, you'll all do your laps, you'll all pick up odd penalties, and hopefully at the end of it, we'll add up all the laps, we'll deduct the penalties, and we'll get a result. Um, if there's still a tie, all of the laps are being timed, and it's your best lap of the day, we'll swing it. If there's a tie on, on laps, less penalties. Yeah? How is that? Yeah. Alright, so, yeah, before, yeah. is there any sort of immediate questions about that? Can you just repeat that? I don't think I could now, mate. So I think I said, but look carefully at your check times, because they do vary, and needless to say, they've been timed to be a bit awkward. Yeah? Right? You should get three laps in on your first check. Um, I'm not sure if you'll have time to go for a fourth. It depends how quick it runs. I've, I've based it on yesterday's time, so it should be OK. Is there any walking pace areas? Um, oh, good, no, that's a good point. There are a few footpath crossings. Uh, they're all marked with big caution boards. Uh, you don't need to slow down for them, but just be conscious. There, there could be the odd walker about. We don't usually see many, but all the footpath crossings are marked with great big caution boards. So just yeah, just aware of them. Um, and I think that's it. Uh, if you think of anything during the day, I'll, I'll be sort of milling around this area. So come and see me. Um, uh, Malcolm just told me we've got number 76 and number 84 is signed on, but they haven't been ticked off the scrutineering sheet. So if you could just check with the scrutineer that you've been done. Um, have we got anybody not signed on? No. <laughs> Engines have been warmed up. Right, is assembling, there's about just over six minutes before the off. It's exciting around, which is not bit based on the two-man format, format, and it's for solo. First time it's been done, a lot of time and effort's been spent on it to sort it out. As far as I'm concerned, it's going to be a success today. Well done to the various Edmunds Club and also the helpers, which Neil mentioned, of this club, Stone Market, all part of it. Oh, come on. Paul Ransom can probably be out of the way. I better not film him. We're in the last minute, I believe. We'll be starting. Round two. This will count because we only had one round. This is sort of the men from the boys. The leading contenders are one and two.
other riders are available to be considered. Vera Hearn will be sending them off. They're just taking the time to put the goggles on. Time to drag when you're doing this. Over days, eh? I've been filming just over two minutes. Here we go. I've been filming two minutes. Any second now. Any second now. Could be off. Yes, there go! There we go! First four. Jason Morn is pushing himself over the tech pages that hang about. He doesn't. Next floor there, number six is Ricky Roper, who's in the blue today outfit, red last week. He does this to confuse me. Rob Blackman, number nine. And they're off! And here goes the next one. There we get round there, do we? I'm trying to zoom in the part of the course, <coughs> right in the distance there. I'm a bit caught out now, I've been looking, it comes the first rider through, and it's Jamie Roper! Jamie Roper there! Through the gates. Next one looks like number three. No, it's number uh, number one. I mean, Jason Morland. Number four. Where is number three? Who was number three? I can't see number three. This could be him now. One lap to complete, and it's taken about 10 minutes. They look like the start of Craig Roper. He must have had a little food problem. Through the, the gates he goes, and off he goes. Wait another minute, and the next four should be here. 